Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel here to share with you my um, wax empties. So this past week, um, as part of the Two C's collab, the theme was pop culture. So I'm going to share with you what I warmed through. This is not pop culture, but I had like two pieces left. This is from Empire Alchemy. Um, and this one came without a label, which is fine. It was the Grove, and it's flower gardens, grass, ozone, rain, sea salt, spa-like feel. So you definitely got the floral in here. I didn't really get like a grass, like a fresh cut grass note per se. Got the rain, got the sea salt. This was a very beautiful, perfect spring. Um like fresh scent, floral fresh. Really enjoyed that and finished it because I just, like I said, had a piece or two. So not pop, not pop culture, but it was warm. Another one from the from Empire Alchemy was Paper Planes. Um, definitely part of pop culture. It's a song from MIA. Um, this is Wind Swept Icicles, Rosemary, Eucalyptus Mint, and Vintage Tea Laundry. You guys... This is so gorgeous. You get the laundry. You get the rosemary and a mint coming from, I'm sure, the wind swept icicles as well as the eucalyptus mint. But that rosemary and vintage laundry, oh, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, perfect for cleaning. Um, to make your house smell fresh or even like after cooking. I'm going to try this one um, in my bedroom because I that's the only place that I really have not warmed that. From L3, you guys, this is Bazinga. This is pineapple, summer scoops, cotton candy, craze, and waffle cone. This is Lori's blend. Um, Lori here on YouTube. This was in the box from the Round Robin, and I had to take this when I got it. And now I'm feeling like a little guilty that I didn't just take a couple cubes and leave it for other people. But I think I was so excited, I wasn't even thinking. I just took the whole bag. This is amazing. Lori, you did such an awesome job. I am not always the biggest fan of pineapple because I feel like it can overtake when it's in a blend, that tartness and just like puckering pineapple, but you definitely got more of the uh, summer scoops, the cotton candy craze, and you could even smell the waffle cone in here. This was so, so good. I definitely will get this. Um, love that. So happy you put that in, Lori, and then I was able to snag it and um, warm it. Warm it. I've absolutely, I loved it. From Rose Girls, this is one of the good ones. It's steel, coriander, moss, bergamot, sandalwood, and kale. This is, again, another bright, clean, fresh scent that Rose Girls just does so, so well. Really, really loved this. Um, I did work through quite a bit of it. Enjoyed it. Strong, long-lasting. Um, this is not pop, pop culture, but this is from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles. Excuse my nails. Um, I need to give them a little air, um, before I do them again. So I usually give them a few hours. So there's that. Okay. So this is in Latte and Sugar Cookies. I absolutely love this scent. Oh, it's just such a fantastic latte with a hint of bakery in the background. Love this. And I'm sure that there's another one um, as I work my way through because I just have the basket sitting next to me. I did not organize anything. Looney Tunes from Sensi. I've warmed this many times. And this is described as apple juice, ripe red berries, and sugared cherries. Now, I never really felt like I got apple juice before, but smelling this one now, I can smell apple juice, like the Mott's apple juice. Um, not a fan of apple juice to drink. To When I used to give it to my kids when they were little, I did not enjoy the scent of that. This to me is mostly those ripe red berries. <clears throat> 
with a hint of um, cherry in here. This is nice. It's a very vibrant, kid-friendly, like a fun, you know, a fun fruity scent. I really like this. I think this was my last one. This was a limited time offer. Um, it was good. I've warmed it in my classroom in the past. World Traveler. I'm sure everybody's sick of me talking about this, but I love this scent so much. And this, the description does not do it justice. It's blackberry, dark pomegranate, and oak bark. Oh, it's so... It's outdoorsy. It's fresh. It's pretty unique for um, Scentsy. I love this so much. My youngest son loves this. I put this in his element warmer in his bedroom, and it's like days. I'm not kidding. Days. And I know people are like, no, no scent last. Days and days. Yep, this does. Like four days in his room. Definitely three, four. It's so, so good. I am not the biggest fan of pomegranate. However, it mixed so nice with this blackberry. And then what did I say? Oak bark. I love this. It's in my club. So, so good. Um, Aladdin Three Wishes. This is by far my most favorite blueberry from Sensi. Again, I have said so many times, I'm not a blueberry fan. I should just start saying I'm not a big blueberry fan or I'm a very selective fan when it comes to blueberries. This is my favorite from Sensi. Um... It is juicy blueberry, sugared plums, blackberry, and cranberry. And to me, I, I get more blackberry. Blackberry with blueberry. So the, them mixed together, you definitely get that sweetness, sugary note from the sugared plums. And a hint of like tangy tartness from the cranberry. I really, really like this one. Again great in my house, really anywhere. And then, um, a favorite in the classroom. So really good. Warmed through some honeymoon hideaway, did not finish it. And yes, I know this is such a gorgeous scent on cold. I wish that it like transformed when it was warm. It's super light. It really is. This is good. Um, like bathrooms, laundry room. I'll even melt it in my bedroom. Um, I'll put it in, you know, like an hour or so before I'm going to bed so I can enjoy it, but then it's pretty much, it's gone in the morning. Um, I know I do like it though. Probably really not worth $6, but I do like it. Um, I think I war warmed through a couple more Peter Pan. It's Key Lime Vanilla Cupcakes. I'm not sure if I, this is all I had left the last time, but um, it's in here. I just kept everything in here, whether I warmed it or not. Okay, this is from Vintage Chic Scents. This is, oops, I did it again. I took this from the Round Robin as well because I loved what it was supposed to smell like, what the scent notes were. It was blackberry cobbler topped with whipped cream. Love blackberry. This smells so delicious on cold. Oh, it does. It just smells so good. Creamy, creamy blackberry. This did nothing, nothing in my warmers. This was poured on May 7th of 2021. Almost a year old. Nothing. So... I've said this before. I used to buy from Vintage Chic Scents a lot. Um, my house was smaller then. And I didn't always get the greatest performance. I stopped buying and then I started buying. I don't buy regularly. There are still some blends I definitely want to try. You guys, this smelled like nothing. And please don't tell me to try different warmers. I've, this, I've warmed Vintage Chic Scents in every single warmer possible in my house. Without the AC on, with warmers right next to each other, and smaller rooms. Um, I'm not buying special warmers to melt a specific vendor. I just have to own up to the fact that her stuff just does not work for me. Unless it is a, like, a craft store, um, crazy spiced scent. 
then it throws. But I, at that point, I feel like I should just put cinnamon and nutmeg in my warmers and just warm that. I mean, because that's all I get. In, a, in something that is a spiced scent from her, all I get are those, like, top note, like, spices. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely jealous of people, like, a fantastic throw from from her wax. It just doesn't. It's, it doesn't. And it's very disappointing because her stuff is not inexpensive. Simply Vanilla from Scentsy. A couple more. And that's exactly what this is. If you're looking for some crazy over-the-top type of vanilla, no, this is exactly what it says it is. It's Simply Vanilla. And it's great on its own if you're not sure what to warm, if you're kind of indecisive. <laughs> um, this is great to have. Um, I have not tried mixing it with anything, but I will because I definitely have more bars and I think it's in my club. I did not warm Just One Bite from the Villains Collection. I've warmed this many, many times. It's apple. It's really good. Yeah, I do really like this one. I just didn't get to it. Um, that's all. But I like it. From Sassy Girl Aroma, this is Some Bunny Loves You. Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores, Blackberry, Cotton Candy, Strawberry, Pineapple, Creamsicle, Lemonade, and Whipped Cream. This is a nice, fruity scent with her Beach Nights. Um, a fruity Beach night. This was good. Um, didn't last incredibly long. I warmed this all throughout the downstairs. Um, like, open concept part of my house. And it was, uh, I'd say, like, a good four hours. So, still happy. Love her Beach Nights. Harry Potter, uh, Gryffindor, Bravery and Determination. I was a little scared of this one, I'll be honest, but I ended up liking it. I warmed this upstairs in the loft, the hallway area. It's smoky woods, amber, and cinnamon leaf. And on cold, it smelled like that dirty amber kind of ugh, smell. Warming it, mm -mm, it did not. I got that smoky woods. Not Marshmallow Fireside, just like a really like out, like out in the fresh air, having a bonfire type of scent. Yeah, this was good. I don't really get any cinnamon. I enjoyed this way more than I thought I was going to. So that was a good one. This has nothing to do with pop culture. Um, this is a Better Homes and Gardens Rosemary and Spearmint. I just, I warmed this um after cooking something one night i'm trying to remember i don't know if it was like a pasta or something that just left a like lingering scent in my kitchen and i don't like that like once we're the cooking i love the smell of cooking things while stuff is cooking and then we eat it and then i don't want my house to smell like it anymore so i put this in and this totally clears the air i love this um, you can get these at Walmart. It's strong. It will get rid of food odors. From the Villains Collection, Poor Unfortunate Souls. This is the Ursula one. Um, yes, did not finish this one. I like it. I like this one bite much better than Ursula. So um, I had warmed this a couple times in the front room. So there's that. From L3 Waxy Wonders. I know I ordered, warmed through two of these. This is um, Diagon Alley. Am I saying that right? I think it's a Harry Potter reference, which is why I pulled it for Pop Culture Week from L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, this is really good. This is Marshmallow Fireside and Graham Crackers. Really liked this. Not crazy strong, but like a medium which is fine. Um, this would be a repurchase. I did really, really enjoy this. It made my house smell yummy. From K, I warmed Prince Albert. I love this scent, and I'm pretty sure I warmed a smaller one. Yeah, sorry, this little, like, some wax on there. <laughs> so good. This is a, like, sweet, like, pipe tobacco scent. And it just, to me, it's 
clean, not cleaner, but like a clean the air kind of sense. I love this so much. Um, I've bought this many, 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 many times and I would continue to purchase that really good. Didn't get to a very superstitious from Ella After. This is a, I think like a cinnamon sugar kind of donut. But I will be. Maybe it has some apple. I, I will. I'm going to keep this one out because this was poured. Oh, this isn't that old. I thought this was an older one. Um, I'll warm that in my bedroom probably. I love bakery scents in my bedroom. I also did not get to this from Kay. It's Kevin, Jack Frost. So, mm, it smells yummy. Just didn't, you know, it's only seven days in a week. Peppermint stick from Kay. Love this. Warmed this in my bedroom. And that's exactly what this is. A delicious, creamy, um, strong peppermint scent. Didn't get to this. Golden ticket from L3. And I don't even know what the scent notes on here are. But I need to warm this because it's getting that plastic scent from being in the clamshell. So I need to get this one done. I'm going to put this aside and I'll warm that tomorrow or something when I go to work. Um, there's another latte and sugar cookies. Love, love. Finished. I finished up. I had to change out a light bulb, um, a 25 watt one. Warmed. Oh my gosh, there's wax on this one too. No, there's not. I don't know what that is. This is Woodcutter's Cottage from The Bathing Garden. I warmed this in, I think, the boys' bathroom. I like this. I like this a lot. Fresh. Outdoorsy. I know I, when it was warming, um, I enjoyed it. And now I'm not recalling. Comic books from The Bathing Garden in a sample. I'm gonna say this was fruity. I could be way off, but I either warmed, one was warmed in the boys' bathroom and one was warmed in my laundry room. I just, I don't remember. Um, didn't warm uh, Nocturne Alley from L3. I need to, I'm gonna keep those aside too. I'll get them in. It's um, Marshmallow Fireside and rain, Rainstorms, I think. Yeah. Because I feel like those are getting older. The Arin. Am I saying that right? Red Grapefruits. Sugared Mangoes and Coconut Water. This was good. I'm going to keep this for Oldies Week because this was poured 317-2021. Um, this was really good. You got the Pink Grapefruit. You got the Mangoes. Um... About four hours. I had this going in the living room, kitchen, and dining room. So that will go back in. And I didn't touch my loaf of Hufflepuff. But that's okay. It's fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Which I love this. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Um, and I think even if I had it chopped, I probably still wouldn't have gotten to it. I just had... You know, we overpicked. I changed out a a wallflower and summer boardwalk is what I put in. I think when you walk in the front door, it's caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, salty sweet cream. I really can't smell this. I'm so disappointed in these wallflowers. I need to not buy them anymore and just use up the crap that I have. All right, empty bag. Went through my bakery in Brooklyn. This has become one of my husband's favorites. It's raspberry brulee, vanilla fudge, butter marshmallow, and sugar cookies. This was in her brittle. This was delicious. Mm. Look how I eat. eat something that tastes like that. That's so good. Fire Mario from Rose Girls, which is marshmallow fireside, donut holes, and espresso beans. I had a few left in here. I melted it. Probably last Sunday morning, I'm going to guess. 
No, you know what I did? I put this in on a school day, like say Monday. Monday morning, about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And when I got home later that day, I never keep coffee going all day. But I was at work. I could still smell this. So this got changed out probably at like 5 or 6 that night. So that was long lasting. Donkey Kong Destruction for most girls. It's banana cream pie, bear claws, and vanilla ice cream. This was good, but it didn't last long. This was about... Mm, three hours. Another one from Rose Girls is Super Sweet Mario. This was yummy. Uh, pink Sugar, Pink Sugar, Royal Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Cotton Candy Frosting. This was good. Yep. This went all day. Really enjoyed this. I would get that one again. Grandma got run over by a chain chomp. Blackberry jam cookies, cotton candy, and waffle cone. Again, mm, fruity and good. About, I warmed this one after work um, and let it go all night. And by the next morning, I could smell it like at about a four or five. Um, and then I changed the wax out before I went to work that morning. Oh, this was so good, you guys. L3 Waxy Wonders Sleepy Hollow. Vanilla pound cake with pumpkin, cream filling, and cream cheese frosting. This, to me, does not smell like your typical pumpkin. Oh, I don't know. It just... I loved this. I loved it the first time I warmed it, and I had put it away because this was like a fall. This was a loaf. Um, I had warmed it in the fall. I really love this. To me, this is not basic. It, there was some type of complexity to it, it, I don't know, it didn't come across as like pumpkin, like what you think of um, when you think pumpkin. I loved that. This, remember the show Six Feet Under? I never watched it, but this was from Vintage World Candles. I had shown this before because I tried to mix it with some things. I just finished it up. It's patchouli, dirt, antique rose, nog champa, oud wood, fallen leaves, and campfire marshmallow. Definitely heaviest on the patchouli, the dirt, the nag champa, and the rose. So that's all gone. Um, and I didn't get to Curiouser and Curiouser from the Beating Garden, which is, I didn't even write it down, but it's like a fruity scent. I've had it many times. That's it. That is everything. I think I did pretty well for Pop Culture Week. Um, now we are on to Oldies But Goodies. So happy melting to everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody is doing well. And um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care.